How's things? How about yourself? Yeah, I'm okay, mate. I'm okay. A bit tired. You know, the time difference in London's a bit of a bit of a shocker, really. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a bit of a nightmare. So, how are things with you? Good. Yeah, things are fine. Uh, that's good to hear. Good to hear. Oh, what I was trying to do, um, I mean, trying to do an interview uh, for a while. I mean, it's going to be a serious interview. You're not going to be like squeezing your balls about bollocks all the time. You know what those haters are like, eh? Get it all the time. Oh yeah. <laughs> not good. Not good at all. Um, I've got like some questions and some bits and pieces. I know there's some controversial stuff in there. If you don't answer it, you know, it's fair enough. I can understand that. I mean, um, I'm just like interested. You know, the game dude persona is it like? You know, Game Dude, the man behind the mask, is it just like a sort of on-screen persona you have, or...? Huh? Say it again, sorry? Is it like a kind of um, persona you have, you know, like the yeah, Game Dude I, thing? It's a character, it's not really me. So it's kind of like played up for the cameras, kind of? Yeah, yeah, played up. Just, I'm just acting and pretending to be another character. I don't really like that in real life. So does it mean like, you know, if you bump into people on the street, they think... Oh, it's the game dude is going to start doing this kind of crazy stuff. And they're kind of like, oh, wait, it's a bit kind of, you know, different when you're yourself. Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, well, I, I mean, I've only been like, only one person actually noticed me, like, on the street, kind of. He was like, hey, it's the game dude, right? <laughs> but, you know, but he quickly noticed that I didn't act anything like the game dude, but he was, he was close. I mean, I mean, Amy Jen doesn't, James Rolfe isn't like, AVGN, right? Chris Bohr isn't like RA Gamer, right? They're just characters, right? So yeah, like you say, they're kind of personas. It's like people, you know, like the yeah. man behind the mask when you're like behind, yeah. off it's the stage. Personas, and I think everybody kind of knows that, or everyone else, you know? It's just, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite most, interesting. Yeah. I mean, I guess some people probably think that I'm exactly like the game dude, but no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just a persona, yeah. So, I mean, how are things? I mean, your latest review just came out. Um, yeah, things are fine. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm uploading another review made by... Uh, <laughs> Alana. Oh, here she is right now. Say hi, Alana. Uh, hi. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, hey. How's things? <laughs> things are good. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Alana... <laughs> I'm uploading Alana's review of God, of the God of War 2 box art. So it's a kind of joint collaboration review you've got going for the next review, is it? It's not just Alana, 100% Alana. Yeah, but then you're going to take it down in like a day. Oh, maybe if you want me to. <laughs> well, it's good to see, you know, couples squabbling about stuff all the time. It used to happen to me a lot, but not so much these days. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, um... The recent scandal on YouTube, you know the old deal dash thing. I'm sure you probably heard about it. Oh yeah, yeah. What about it? Oh God, no, I wouldn't do that. I mean, I'm just like a troll, but uh, it's a bit far. I think it's a bit of a like dodgy scam how people can do that to their fans. It's like you know, yeah. fuck them over for enough, but don't squeeze them for money. I know. You live in L London, right? Yeah, yeah, in London. Yeah. 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 Hey, uh, hold on. What's that? Scandal thing. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, we're, we're gonna go. I'm gonna show Alana the whole that that, that video that uh, uh that stupid Ara Gamer PS3 contest video. Oh God, yeah, that was just a horrendous scandal. I just thought the guy he couldn't have any more shame. And yeah. Just totally sold out, and I thought, how can you sell out beyond YouTube partnership? But it's just gone beyond somehow. Yeah, here it is. Um, I mean, how does that work? Have you applied for partnership yourself on YouTube, or...? Sorry, what were you saying? Oh, have you applied for, like, YouTube partnership yourself, or...? Oh, they... they no, they, they said they don't have enough original content. Can you believe that? Oh, I mean, half the partners are a shit okay. anyway. Our what? gamer has a, a YouTube, YouTube partnership, and nothing he has is original, so it doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. It's like, um, you heard of this channel, I think it's called, um, the Community Channel or something, and it's just all these fake accounts and stuff. Really? Uh, yeah, it's all these kind of sock puppets and shit. Yeah. Well, I played a video on... Yeah, it's, wow, it's Community Channel? With a bunch of... I think about a bunch of fake channels? Oh, no, it's just some Asian camp hall. There seems to be loads of those around. I don't know what it is. Maybe people got yellow fever too much these days. Could be. Could be anything, you know, the internet. 
What is this this community channel thing? What is it? Um, I'll try and find a link. It's like this Australian bird. Uh, I think she just leached the name community channel because uh, it probably gets shitloads of hits on YouTube for some bizarre reason. I don't know why because it's shit, but that's just my personal opinion. Where is the sock puppet accounts? Or like, um, as well, it's like seven hundred, well, seven hundred one thousand subscribers. There's quite well, a few like, sock puppets in there, but I haven't gone through all of them. It would take me, well, an eternity, to be honest. <laughs> who'd waste their time making sock puppet, puppet accounts just to subscribe to your own channel? That's such a waste of time. and It's like lying to yourself and everyone else. It's just stupid. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if you heard about Cheryl Schumann. She was a bit of an oddball. Wow. Yeah, it's just stupid. Anyway, uh, I'm going to play the video. Here we go. Hey, guys, I Ray Gamer here with some awesome news. For a while now, I've been talking to a few websites in order to get some contests going for you guys. And today, I'm bringing you something cool. Now, a site called DealDash.com is helping me to give one of my fans a PlayStation 3 package. And this will include a PlayStation 3 and a bunch of games, which will probably total about $500. Cool, right? Now, DealDash is kind of like an eBay auction site, but you can bid on things like consoles and video games and a whole bunch of other stuff and get them for well below normal cost. Okay, so how do you enter to win? Well, there's three steps. First off, you must be subscribed to my channel. <laughs> the second thing is you have to go to guilddash.com and sign up and then try the website out. The third yeah. thing is that you must come back to this video, post your username in the comments below, and Deal Dash will then uh, pick somebody at random to be the winner. Now, I've also worked out a deal with them. If you sign up with your Facebook account, They'll automatically give you five dollars uh, into your Deal Dash account. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate you being fans. This is my treat uh, that I'm giving back to you. And good luck to everyone because uh, hope you win some cool stuff. Oh God, that's awful. <laughs> oh, from the explain, explain how it's a scam. Oh well, what happens from my recollection of Deal Dash? Um, you know, like eBay, you place a bid. Uh, on whatever shit you want to buy. It could be Spongebob, whatever, blankets, or whatever the fuck. It could be anything. In Deal Dash, you have to buy credits to place a bid on an item. So I think it's a dollar a credit to place a bid. And then someone outbids you, you have to put another bid in, I think. I'm not 100% on this, but I think that's how it works. So you lose money. Even if you don't win the item, I don't think you get your money back. You just lose everything you've bid it on. Yeah. So it's just bullshit at the end of the day. Yeah, really. You should get all your money back if you don't get the item. I know. eBay's better. Fuck deals, actually. Go on eBay. Oh, it's just faggotry. It's just, you know, not needed, really. I mean, it's just, uh, I don't know why people do that. I mean, Boar's a YouTube partner. I know he's on some other shitty websites and stuff. But it's yeah. just being greed, isn't it, at the end of the day? Yeah. Well, how I'd say, like, Swiss gold. I know I'm a bit keen on that. But. <laughs> Um, just a few other questions. I don't want to detain you for ages and ages because I could probably waddle on about shit forever because I got one of these kind of voices. Um, about I know I did that kind of parody series on you. You know the Game Dude series. Uh, you probably seen a few episodes of it. The what? Oh, you know the Game Dude series with that cartoon game guy with a tash. The ones made by Paul von Hindenburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, Paul von Hindenburg. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean. <laughs> you don't hate those people like, uh, you know, Captain S, I'm sure you must know Captain S. I oh, hope. yeah, they're fine, I don't hate them, no. And not the PVC Productions or anything like that, right? No, they're fine, they're okay, they're not like, I mean, they're just, I want to call them like fantastic, but they're just okay, in my opinion. They're kind of like mediocre sort of YouTubers at best. Yeah, yeah, I think. I don't even know why, uh, well, yeah, I just saw too much Captain S and it just really pissed me off at the end of the day on that one. There's just like a lot of weird people on there. Um, it's like they all work at that website, I think, PVC Productions. Uh, it's a website called That Guy With Glasses, I think. Yeah. I think Spoonie's on there and stuff. Yeah. I mean, have you checked out any of those reviews there? Any good? I mean, in your personal opinion, do you have like a few personal favorite reviewers? Oh, maybe Jen. Uh, no, Nostalgia Critic's pretty cool for movie reviews. I watch, watch them a lot. Uh... Uh, then just everyone else here and there. I, I used to watch a lot of RA 21's videos. Uh, now, you know what, to be honest, I don't really watch anyone anymore. I kind of just make reviews and, yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> That's the thing. Everyone gets into these big drama wars about stuff. I don't know why yeah. I do that. It's just a bit odd, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. The little trolls start these drama wars, right? Yeah, I know. I know the feeling. I get all these hate comments. People going, stop bashing Captain S. He's great. And it's like, oh, fuck. Yeah. What have I done? <laughs> oh, oh. People can't make a joke. So, uh... Yeah, well, the other most creepy thing. You must have, you surely, everyone's heard of the most infamous man on the internet, Spax Free. Oh, yeah, Spax Free. He's not the most infamous. Would I you was... ever, if, like, Spax Free came up to you and go, you want to join the Toon Zone, would you actually join it? Because he's got people to join his Toon Zone somehow. Mm, no. Why does anyone hate him so much, though? But he got Big Al, and he got uh, Guru Larry, and I think he got WizWar100 to join his uh, crummy website. Really? Why does everyone hate him so much? Oh, the entire Spaxgate incident. Oh, um, me was just some crybaby. Uh, you know when you upload bits of other people's videos and he was screaming copyright of his Yo Noid Productions, some oh, yeah. non-existent crap company no one's ever heard of. His reviews aren't bad, though. I don't think they're bad. Yeah, I mean, he was just getting into that kind of... I know uh, that review you did on Sonic, which was quite an interesting one I found. Um, you know, like Sonic, and he had the kind of Final Fantasy bird in it. And it was like furrydom going a bit cross to like people, and it was a bit weird, sort of. Yeah, the whole Sonic running with Elise thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I totally, I totally know about that. I know it's. Ugh, yeah. Well, what about it? It was just a bit. Oh, I don't know why Sega have gone with this kind of weird. I don't know if it's furry porn or it's like pandering to furries or not. There's just so much of this furry porn thing going on with video games I just you know it's just not it, it doesn't even surprise me at all I mean it's in Blinks it's in Sonic it's in Donkey Kong Gex it's in three. Gex 3 <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding it, it's just it's just like what the hell it's everywhere it pisses the hell out of me but back to Spax 3 why does everyone hate him so much oh it's just cause um I mean like, but, but, I mean, like his reviews though but I mean his reviews aren't bad Oh, uh, he just didn't take things so well. He was sending, like, lawsuits to ten-year-olds and shit. Yeah, but I, I understand that, but, like, his reviews themselves, you know? Well, he had his moments. I mean, um, I think what a lot of people debated was uh, somehow he had these interview tapes with um, Sonic, you know, voice actors, and it was all not real interviews, and he was just splicing his own voice in there and stuff, and it was all a bit creepy. Really? Yeah, well, it's it's one of those kind of YouTube kind of myths. I don't know if it's true or not. One of those urban myths that float around. He voiced a bunch of Sonic characters. Oh God, yeah, I remember that. He did. He did. Um, he did like a soundtrack for like the Sonic thing. It was like the worst thing I ever heard in my entire life. It was like a uh, intruder alert, and it was like, oh God, this is awful. <laughs> So he like dubbed a bunch of Sonic stuff, basically. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. They did a, a he did like a cartoon of like a Sonic episode, yeah, and he tried to dub every single character in it, and it was awful. What what was that? Was it like a game review or something else? Oh, it was just like a Sonic cartoon, and he just tried to put his own voice in the entire episode. But like his actual reviews, though, you know, I don't think they're, they're bad. Oh yeah, they they weren't terrible. I mean, like I say, they weren't completely shit. I thought they were like, you know. Not awful, like averagey kind of stuff. I thought it was watchable. Yeah, they're better than Ira Gamers, you'd say. <laughs> you put me on the spot now. I'm supposed to be putting you on the spot. Uh, not. I mean, the Ira Gamer. Don't get me wrong. I know everything's gonna be like, oh, if you like bum him and stuff. But I don't. I don't think it was awful. I admit he did. You know, ABGN. He did steal like very similar reviews and stuff, and maybe he took some catchphrases here and there. And um, it got it all a bit out of control, you know, the AVGN Nazis and uh, the Balls Boys going a bit skits on YouTube a lot. Um, but, you know, his recent stuff's a bit awful, like his his characters, I find, you know, like uh, his his sub-characters, like the Genie and fucking Ronnie the Skeleton. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're interesting in a special way. <laughs> special Jewish skeleton. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Well, that genie guy is like, my rug's double parked outside. <laughs> I, I don't know how he, why he found that funny. It's just so random. It was like, you would get this guy dressed up in like a robe. You know, he's probably borrowed the robe off that guy from Ghost Hunters, you know, props and stuff. And the hey. genie dude. It's just classic. I think it's, you know that channel, No Date Gamers? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was just watching that and I just, 
It wasn't funny, but it's just one of those things just so random. It became, like, hilarious for me. Yeah. I know, it's not healthy. I should just get out more and drink probably a bit more and smoke less. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's uh, another, just a few more questions, and I'll, I'll stop bugging you guys. I know people have lives, unlike me, but I'm so yeah. jealous and bitter and twisted. Um, have you heard of a website called Gamer Crush? No. It's this bizarre concept where you pay girls to play games with you online. Girls? Yeah. Play games with you? Yeah, so you're like playing Call of Duty or like Battlefield Bad Company, you pay Maybe girls. And they get her to play games with you for free. Yeah, it's just random. I mean, I've heard some creepy things. It's just a bit odd. I think it's like it Game Crush, GamerCrush dot com or something like that. That's just weird. Yeah, it's definitely something that's a bit weird. And um, the other thing I was going to bring your attention to, you know, Silent Rob. I'm sure you heard yeah. of Let's Shoot Gaming. Did you see that bizarre Boo Kitty Silent Rob Gate incident? Yeah, I know all about it. I talked to Boo Kitty. Well, you even saw the video of like Rob. No, I don't really see the video. I see it. Send me the link. Oh, well, I'll send you, and then you can uh, obviously gauge by the disgust of your reaction. Okay. Um, I'll send it across. I'll just find it. Ed son. Rob. Rob, Rob, Rob. Come on, fucking crappy Mexican internet I've got here. Ugh, I need to get better internet. It's down at the very bottom. It's the most disturbing. Um, if I paste it. Yeah, my skills with the like PCs are terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake, this thing's not pasting. Oh, uh, oh dear, this is not going well. I feel like a teacher. You know when teachers try to put VHSs and all it goes wrong? <laughs> Never seem to work those things, do they? No, they don't. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, I'll just paste this here. If you scroll to the bottom, they've got some most disturbing uh, video footage of Silent Rob uh, doing something, which is odd. Well, it's not odd if you're 30, but uh, it's just odd. Well, it's probably not even odd if you're 16, but uh, yeah, when you see that video, I think it's right at the bottom. Oh, okay, yeah, fine now. <laughs> yeah. You have seen that video. <laughs> well, we just. I don't think that's the video. I think that's something else. Where is the video? Um, it should be listed as. Scroll down to um, premium content. And uh, the ED page, can you see it? Premium content? Uh, you know, in the ED page, the link I just sent you down. Uh, yeah, where's the video? Uh, there should be two videos. It says, quote, this is a preview of what you get if you pay for my site. And there's two video things. Are they on YouTube, these videos? Oh, no, they're in Encyclopedia Dramatica. But they're like... You know, connected to YouTube, aren't they? Or no? Uh, pff, I don't think they'd allow this kind of stuff on YouTube, to be honest. It's uh, pretty uh, grisly. Okay. Uh, oh, did you get the uh, link? I've just uh, pasted it down there, so... Yeah, but uh, it's, it's, it's giant. Where's the video? Oh, I'll, I'll give you a direct link to the video. I'll try and play yeah, this. Direct, direct to the video, yeah. Uh, oh, come on, damn internet. Cling link does not affect video. It will explode. Shit. Uh, forgive my music thing. It's just fucking popping off in the background. Uh, yeah, this would be weird. I admit, I'm looking up silentrobinslotload.com. It's not good. You're not Paul von Hindenburg. You're like, uh... Oh. Of his work. Oh, no, I am like Paul von Hindenburg. It's like me and this other guy who write this stuff. But, uh... Oh. Does two, uh, two of you make up Paul von Hindenburg? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why we got this weird writing credits stuff, because, uh... Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck, I got this porn stuff popping up. Talk to the other half of you before. Oh, there you go. Here's the uh, video link. Uh, yeah, you'll see Silent Rob doing most um, extreme video game reviewing in that video, to be honest. You'll be scarred for life. That's not... Okay, let's see. Okay. That's most of the stuff. I hope you're not going to feel like that, game dude, because I'll be disappointed if you do. 
Hold on. What was Silent Rob doing? Why was he doing that? <laughs> Why uh, was Silent Rob doing that? Um, because, um, I don't know, the Boo Kitty thing, um, I think he sent that across as a Valentine's gift. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, creepy, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. Some this video game reviewer girl. <laughs> yeah. It's just disturbing indeed, Alexander. It's, it's most disturbing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the second I saw, I just closed it. That was, <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, I hope he didn't leave his socks on because that'd be even more cringeworthy. Oof. Um, a few more, I got only two more questions and I'll, I'll stop bugging you because um, I know I'm a pain in the ass. Um, the last two questions I've got, you know, everyone asks you a lot about your revisions on your videos. I mean, it's just the inner perfectionist that, you know, keeps. I don't know, I'm just a perfectionist, just whatever. I just, I don't do it too often anymore. I'm just here and there now. I got a few, I see like little stupid editing glitches and stuff, and some parts that get wrong, so I fix them. And just, yeah. My newer videos, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not revising my newer ones. If you like this one, I never revise. The next one, pre one, I basically never revise. I quite like, like the, uh, you know, the cat and hat one. Uh, yeah. Oh, that one I never revise, you know. The whole bunch, like, oh, a lot of the newer ones, they, I just barely revise, right? And certainly you get them right the first time, you know. That must have been hard. I mean, to write the script for that must have taken ages because it's all got to rhyme, hasn't it? Oh, it didn't take too long, actually. I, I just I just sat on the computer and just, just wrote it and kept perfecting it until I thought it was ready, and then I just voiced it and put it all together, and yeah. yeah. I mean, how long does it take uh, you to make, like, a review? Is it you just get, like, an idea in your head? Is it, you know, the kind of video it's, stuff you get? Was it script? Was it a mixture of the two? I uh, just read it. I just, like choose a game and I start playing it and I start seeing all the flaws and then I write a script, put some jokes in and just do it. It's like that. Yeah. My final, final, final question and I'll, I'll piss off. Honestly. Um, do you know about the Navigator, maybe? Yeah. What's your thoughts on the Navigator? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's just another Stack 3 Chris Boars, I guess. Just Stack a crazy old man who isn't taking his Monday's medication, really. Yeah, he just, he says a lot of weird stuff. Like, something about, what do you say about, um, uh, like Tomb Raider, uh, something about breast cancer? <laughs> Laura Croft, about Laura Croft. What, what, what did he say? It was really stupid. It was the breast cancer thing, then he got angry because Evan said uh, his review of Final Fantasy VII was completely wrong. He just said about Bre- Laura Croft having breast cancer or something? I yeah, that's know. right, yeah. I, I forgot what he said exactly, though. Oh, it's, there's so many oddballs on the internet. I get worried myself sometimes. Oh. It's a scary place. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, oh. he got all his facts wrong for his Final Fantasy VII review, you were saying? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just, um, Spax is odd. This Toon Zone thing's getting out of control. I don't even know if those people know they're on that website. Because last time he was holding a gun at Mega Man's head. Which is yeah, random. I know. Very creepy, but uh, cheers to the interview, Alex. Um, I appreciate it. I know it's a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, it's okay. Uh, I'll definitely upload it. I know I'm feeling like fucking tired. It's just uh, time differences in London. It's almost like fucking one in the morning. So, what are you uploading exactly? Oh, uh, is this okay if I upload it? I haven't done anything too controversial. I hope. Or no, what is it? Oh, this uh, interview. It was should I not upload it? Um. Uh, which which interview? This, this one? one? Oh, you recorded it? You're going to upload it? Yeah, yeah, if you got no problems with that. I mean, I didn't ask anything too dodgy. It was only... Yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want. Okay. So I thought, you know, you got to be fair. You can't just go around and panhandle people mercilessly. Yeah. Well, I know I do, but uh, one day I'll learn, hopefully. But, um, yeah. yeah, cheers. Thanks for the interview, Alex. And uh, I look forward to... When's the next review up? Uh, I don't know. I'll... Who knows? I'll, I'll let you know later on. All right, cheers, Alex. Have a good night, mate. All the best. Cheers to the yeah, interview. All right. Take it easy. Oh, one last thing. Are you going to grow a tash? Because the Game Dude series guy's got a tash. Oh, <laughs> a mustache. Nah, no mustache. Oh. You will put a fake one and make a video. Uh, <laughs> a fake one, just be funny. And I'll do the little epic dance thingy. You know that, that dance they do? Yeah, the dance, yeah. Yeah, I'll do the dance for the mustache and I'll wear like a suit. Maybe I'll try to like imitate him or something one day. I don't know. <laughs>
funny. That would be epic if you did that. It really would. Yeah, totally. All right, cheers. Thanks for that game, dude. Have a good night, mate. All the best. Cheers. Take it easy. Bye-bye.